What's good, people on the internet? So I'm tired because of, well, third semester grades. I almost had an F. Anyway, today I went on Instagram and I got a message from this very nice person. She sent me this very questionable reel. Guess I was just another pit stop till you made up your mind. You just wasted my time, you So I have a lot of questions, obviously, about this reel. First of all, why did you send me that? Sophia, why did you send me that? I'm just kidding. I actually think this is a great video idea, so thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, so the video idea goes to her. Anyway, this video, I don't know what's happening. Um, I was like, oh, this is interesting. Um, I'm gonna go to the account because I wanna look at more. Naturally, like how a curious person like me is, I scrolled and did a lot of account investigating. So that's why I'm making a video. I'm gonna talk about this guy. So this guy's name is Marcian Baby. I hope I said that right. So basically he just posts reels and just like that video, you just saw it's kind of like this sort of structure that makes me think of like 2020 he has about 500,000 followers uh good for him gosh dang born to shine aren't we all so basically he just makes like these very like rough so basically he just makes these very love related Instagram reels. And the thing about this guy is he makes so many different like types of videos. The only thing is the only like thing in common is that it's about love somehow. The music is always that song Copines or like another French song. And he always gets a lot of likes. The first topic that I see the most of his videos is like cheating. Basically, he makes a bunch of videos about cheating, but they're all like a different situation. For example, this one. You know, since there's no sound, um, it's just the music. We have to assume that this is probably like the girl's like, oh no, my boyfriend's talking to another girl. And she's like, The funny thing is the way he reacted was like, huh? I don't know what I'm doing. What? I don't think that's how you should react if you get caught cheating. If I had a boyfriend and I saw him talking to some other girl, I'd be like, okay, um, what are they talking about? I'm not gonna immediately be like, bitch ass cheater. Cause like, what if, I don't know, what if they had like a school project and they were just like, okay, um, so, we're gonna do the presentation tomorrow. Do you wanna present the first slide or I'll do that? But yeah, so that's like the first one. I'd never treat me this sh Yeah, so already, obviously, this one is way more alluding to the fact that this is like cheating. Baby, you made me hate this city. And I won't talk shit about you. See, the thing is, like, it's just, <laughs> bro just caught this happening. And he just is looking like, And she's just like, the other guy is like, there's no emotion. Hey, maybe that isn't actually cheating. We don't even know. Maybe he just walked in on the girl. She was just sleeping. I don't know why her clothes were on the floor. Maybe she just got mad and threw them there. The bro was just putting on a shirt. Maybe it's not even about cheating. Okay, this next one is definitely cheating though. He um, heard the guy at the door and was like, first thing he's like, hey girl, get in the tub. And he didn't notice. He walked in and was like, he didn't like look down a little bit. I don't know, man, what? But also usually like, if you think about it, like this type of video usually is switched. Like basically the girl is trying to hide the guy because the girl is like, you know, the guy is like knocking on the door and the girl's like, oh no, you have to go hide. I mean, they did almost kiss at the uh... end, kind of. So is he like, Gay? That's not bad, it's- I'm just saying. Hmm. I think that's the most popular genre of this guy's videos. We got another one, another popular genre, which is walking in on someone changing. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A, A. It's raining, raining. Oh baby, it's raining. <laughs> Okay, so that's a pretty basic scenario. I think that that's usually how it would go, which means that this video is very just plain. It's just, he walks in, sees her changing, and is like, oh, sorry, I'll, I'll leave. 
Actually, I respect that. The thing about this one that makes a little bit no sense is obviously first she's like, hey, get out, please. I'm changing here, which he should have been like himself in the last video and just left. But no, he, um, he sees the other guy walk in and he goes also to hide next to her under the towel, which is weird because why would he care if he was shirtless? He's a guy. And then this guy's like, Ooh, you see what's happening here. <laughs> I just find it funny because like, obviously these characters are all, all just like actors and the, each video is its individual plot. It's funny to just imagine like all these are actually connected and like these characters just, <laughs> like in the last video, he was super yeah. mad that like he might catch them like cheating or something. And now he's just like, oh, this is so cool. But also at the end, why does he like, why do they look at each other like that? <laughs> I said, get out. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, so now we have this genre of very, very random videos that he makes. These videos are like, you don't, you would never guess that this would be a video on the internet. These first two videos, I'm not gonna show too much of them because they're just very neutral. I guess there's not really much going on. So the first one is a video about them. They're sitting and I guess there's an orange on the plate and they're like fighting over it. It's the last piece of orange. And for some reason they're eating with forks An orange they're eating with forks. Okay. And sometimes I eat like cereal with a fork. Wait, no, I don't. I don't do that, Never mind. But anyway, and then they like do rock, paper, scissors, and then the guy gets to eat the last orange. Like there's not really much going on there. And then the other video is like, for some reason, they're both sitting on like two girl, like a girl, and then him, he, they're sitting on a train and he has his phone open to his phone number for some reason. And the girl's like, oh, I need his phone number. I'm gonna take a picture of his phone because it's for some reason opening open on the phone number. So she takes a picture and then he's like, oh no, you don't have to do that. And then he types in his phone number and she's all like, mm. like I have no problem with these videos. It's just like, bro, he, would, he, would you ever put your phone number on your phone and then just like leave it open on a train? <laughs> He's too scared to ask girls for their numbers. So he just like silently like gives it to them. He just walks around going like this. My phone number. And so now we get to the other really weird videos like this one, for example. The universe must have divined us. What am I gonna do? Not grab your wrist. I can be a better boyfriend than him. I can do the shit that he never did. Uh, some things. So I don't know what situation these guys got into where, what are they holding? Why is there blood coming from this, their hands? Are they just squeezing their fists so tightly that they're bleeding? I think they're holding a tampon. Actually, that would make a lot of sense. Maybe maybe she was on her period. The other guy was like, ew, get this away from me. And the other guy's like, I respect women. Give me the tampon. And that's why she chose him. Then we got this one. First of all, so basically he's in a room with the girl and the other guy and the guy like hugs her or whatever and they're on the bed and he's just like in there. Do they not see him? Go to a different room, bro. I'm playing Minecraft right now. I just, I kind of like how he's using the phone to see when they hug so that he can like put the headphones on at the right moment. <laughs> Okay, so then there's this video, which is also pretty random. I've seen a lot of videos kind of like this, so I guess he was just taking it from that. <laughs> yes, this is a thing. Obviously, I know, I think. I mean, I'm a virgin. Pretty sure aftercare is important. Virgin for life. Virgins for Virgin for life, despite the... Actually, I don't have any. I was gonna do that Danny Gonzalez and Drew Gooden thing with where they're like, virgins for lives despite the wives. Virgins for lives despite the wives. Bro fucked himself. <laughs> okay, that's funny though, because this video, he decided to use Bruh. himself as both of the characters. The video where the actual like girl character matters a lot, he uses himself. He has like, he has a bunch of other girls in his other videos. Why didn't he use it for this video? He can get them for every other video, but not this one. Wait. Maybe the 
this is symbolism that he's like gay like the other videos you know actually speaking of that i want to show you something that other one of his random videos that i found i want you to know that i'm never leaving because i miss the snow till death will be freezing oh you are my home my home for all seasons so come on let's go something something and hide from the sun there's no problem with it, with the fact that it's two guys right it's only the fact that what they're doing because no matter what if this was a girl and a guy i'd still be like what the heck why are you guys licking your licks i did see somewhere that someone in the comments i can't find the comment anymore but they said that this is a scene from a k-drama or something like that okay guys i found the exact scene it's it's from a movie called suicide room and not gonna lie the scene is actually cool i don't know how that guy just made it so awkward but he does he not even make his own content okay and this is this is a random thing also for some reason he makes this type of video that's like it's about this random guy that every time all these guys are sitting on the couch this random guy walks over to the couch and sits down and like spreads himself out so they have like no room to sit anywhere <laughs> like i don't really get really what's happening like in real life if this happened i'd get up and probably go to a different chair or couch i wouldn't like get up and then like tell the person next to me to go a little bit that way so that i can sit there and then also be like honestly i thought he was about to like bust it down you know like go like okay so the last thing about this guy uh, well he kind of has a lot of instagram pictures too and it's funny because like his reels his instagram reels are a little bit questionable don't really know what's happening plot is kind of basic comments are they don't like it every comment is like oh no cringe but then he has like these like posts like why is he like why is he fine like why is he good looking right like why is he good looking you know what i'm pretty sure before i've seen one of these pictures on like pinterest never would i have known that back then when i saw these pictures on pinterest that i'd be looking at a guy who makes instagram reels about people fighting over the last orange but this comment really made me laugh i really can't understand your vibes what is your goal for make like this cringes and then someone responded with but you watch every video so you're still a fan smirk yeep i just like him face that comment is exactly what I'm what is going on in my brain right now. <laughs> Alright, so this guy, there's nothing wrong with him. Just it's one of those people that make like those K-drama love story like short video things. They might be a little bit cringy. I mean, like I don't really know what's going on in like half of them, but they don't harm me, so I'm okay with it. I just think that I don't know why he decided to when he decided to start posting videos like this and when did he get his crew together? When did he find like five different girls to like almost kiss in every video? Yeah, so there's that. Thank you so much, Sophia, for recommending this video. Thank you because now my brain cells, I think I lost a few, but that's okay because I'll, I'll do it for you guys. Anyway, thank you guys for like a thousand and four subscribers. That's really cool. I love you like a lot. Anyway, I will see you guys next time and I've got another video cooking up right now because I'm trying to be more consistent. So I hope to see you guys next time so that you can see what that video is and I hope that you'll like it. Bye!